Howdy folks, Satish here from Dallas, Texas. Now, in this video, we're going to learn about insider trading. What is insider trading? Is it illegal or is it legal? We're going to also going to learn step by step on how to, you know, tap into information to use it to make you lots of money. But before that, before that, this is the disclaimer, okay? I am not a financial advisor. Uh, things I say, you know, you know, trading is risky. You could lose your bank balance. You could lose your wife. You could lose everything in trading. So it's gambling okay you are gambling but you know information i'm about to share with you is information i gathered through reading experience 11 years experience so that's where the information is coming from I'm, i don't have any license fyi you cannot sue me you cannot i'm not liable for any gains or losses so that is the disclaimer let's go and talk about insider trading so what is insider trading insider trading is whenever management of a company uses information you know uses information to make a trade on the behalf of that company for example let's say i work with apple i'm on the management team and i use some information that's coming up to either dump or buy stocks okay that is insider trading okay now if i do that i have to report that with SEC, the government entity that takes care of all the securities, okay? I have to report it. So that's public information. Now, as a retail investor, you can tap onto that information to use it for yourself and make money. So that's how we retailers can make money because think about it for a second, okay? It, you know, insider trading is only illegal if you are the first first hand to get that information hack it things like that that's illegal okay it's not illegal if the information is public now let's say somebody reveals an information on reddit okay use you use that information to you know buy or dump a stock that is not illegal because you found that information publicly okay so keep that in mind so any information that you find publicly it's a fair game okay Let's let's go. Let's move on to learning more. So, in the next few in the next few minutes, we're gonna go, go ahead and learn about editor database. Okay, we'll learn more about that. Editor database is a database on SEC side where all the information from all these companies are dumped up. Okay, I'll show you how to read those. I'll show you how to you know read the forms. I'll show you how to find you know trading trades by senators, management, and all that stuff. I'll show you all that stuff step by step. From my laptop you have to be patient with me because this is a longer video but keep in mind okay you could be making a lot of money using the information i provide to you in this video okay a lot of people out there are selling this information for a fee that's fine but i want to go ahead and give you all this information for free but you have to do me a favor right you have to go ahead and hit that red button so subscribe right now and if you want more videos just like this you could also go to tradinguniversity.io or of course stay subscribed to me and i'll give you all these videos on the on the channel let's go ahead and jump on my laptop and learn more about insider trading hey hold on hold on before we get any further i have a little bit of an announcement for you okay so did you know I publish videos once in a while for 24 hours and get rid of them? Why? Because those videos are exclusively for my subscribers. That could be you, okay? So right now, I want you to hit that red button and subscribe right now if you want that exclusive content. Now, is it gonna cost you any money to subscribe? No, so go ahead, please subscribe so I can bring you those exclusive content right now. Now let's talk about the Edgar database and all of the forms that you need to watch out for to track insider trading. So what is an Edgar database? Edgar stands for Electronics Data Gathering, Gathering and Analysis and Retrieval, retrieval uh, on the SEC, SEC site. So it looks something like this. Uh, this is their site. And uh, you know it gives you a tutorial on how to use it. It, it, has, it pretty much has all the information so insider has to report, right? All of that is dumped up here. The problem with this database is, oh, there is a problem. I'll, sh I'll show it to you, right? It's not that easy to read, okay? I'll show you a few things here and there, but I'm also gonna show you a easier way to uh, figure this out. But I want you to know that, you know, all the information for insider trading, it's coming from this site right here. So. Whenever uh, somebody on the inside wants to do some trading and things like that, 
they have to file it. If they don't, that's considered illegal. And you know, of course, so they have to file it here. And if you, if, you, if you can track it properly, you'll be able to profit from that, okay? Let's talk about a couple of forms, okay? So first of all, we have something called form number three. You see it on the left, right? So form number three. So you'll see these forms on the Edgar site on SEC. So form number three is the form that I have to file. Let's say, let's say I work for a company, right? I'm on a management level, and then I wanna be, I will be getting some information that is considered insider information, okay? So legally, even if I don't, I even mean, if I don't buy any stocks or sell it, right? Even if I don't do anything, I'm required by the law to file that, hey, I am an insider, okay? So form number three will show you that, okay? That's form number three. Now, form number th four, okay? This is the form where you'll see the buys and sell of an, in of an insider. So for example, let's say I decide to buy something or sell something, I have to report it on form number four, okay? And the last but not least, we have form number 144. So 144 is pretty much, uh, you know, whenever somebody on the inside decides to sell a restricted stock, meaning let's say I joined a company, right? Let's say I joined Apple and Apple says, great, you've been working with us for such so many years. Here is some stocks for you, okay? They give it to me, okay? I take it, right? I can't sell it yet, okay? Number one, I have to file this form. Number two is that I have to wait at least one year before I can sell it, okay? This form right here, okay? Now, this form, I would file it if I'm planning to sell it. And once I file this form, I have to sell my stocks within 90 days. So how can you use this information? So for example, okay, so form number three is just information that, hey, somebody is getting that insider status. So you know who the person is. So what might be beneficial for you is once you see a form number three, Google that person, okay? Find out, maybe follow them on Twitter, follow them on Instagram and things like that, okay? See what they are up to because the idea is you wanna get that hint. You wanna get some information out of them, okay? They're not gonna say it to you out loud, right? They might reveal some information, okay? That's one. Number two is just follow them, okay? It just helps you out if you're, if you're so passionate about that company that you're talking about, okay? Form number four, okay? That's where the meat is, okay? That's the form that will tell you, hey, somebody has bought it, sold it. You get the idea. Now, form number 144. Now, why is this important? So here's the thing, okay? If I joined a company, right? And if I thought the stock was gonna go up, right? I would keep it, right? I got it for free, right? But if I have decided, hey, I'm gonna go and sell it in the next 90 days, I must have some information that something is about to, you know, go wrong. Maybe, right? That's, we can't be sure. So maybe somebody needs money. Somebody needs to buy a house. Somebody needs to get a car. They might sell it. But the idea is that why would they sell it? They're selling it because they want to take the money out, right? Now, of course, like I said, people might need the money and they might sell it. But, okay. If, they, if they're gonna sell it in a nice, you know, they've kept it for one year and if they have decided to sell it in the next 90 days, you know something wrong might be coming up. So if you hold those stocks, maybe it's time to dump at the right time after taking profit. So you have this information, okay? Now, how you use it is up to you. So make sure to, you know, we'll look at Edward's site in the, on the next video, but you know where this information is coming from and you should know what a form number three does, form number four does, and form number 144. So form number three is the status, okay? So if I'm gonna work for a company, if I'm gonna be considered an insider, I have to file that form regardless of me buying or selling a stock, okay? It's me, status, okay? Form number four is the meat. It shows when I sell, buy and all that stuff. And form number 144 is stocks I received for free, sort of, right, from a company. And if I wanna sell it, I have to wait one year, right? But if once I file that form, I have to sell it within 90 days. That's the whole point. So now let's learn about how to actually use the Edgar site, okay? The Edgar database. So I'm gonna show it to you in step-by-step. Step. Don't panic, okay? I'm gonna show it to you step by step. Okay, keep in mind, Edgar does have some limitation, meaning it's kind of, like I said, it's kind of hard to look through it, okay? Keep in mind, it's a government site. What did you expect, right? 
Okay, so it's so so keep that in mind. Okay, let me show it to you. So let's go to the Edgar site. Okay, I'll put the link somewhere. So uh, if you come here, uh, let's go back. Couple of things, right? Let's let's go back right here. And I'm gonna come right here. So Edgar site right here. So a couple of things, okay? So number one is it says quick tutorial. I recommend you go through it. I really do. It give you, gives you step by steps on things it can do. Um, too long to read, but you can go through it. Second thing is description of the SEC forms. Uh, we talked about this already, but if you want to review it, you can. So pretty much, let's see, okay? So form, we talked about these things, right? So I give it to you in simple words. That was the promise, right? That, that I made you in, in the, on the course. So same thing, let's go back right here. I'm gonna go control find, I'm gonna do control find, one, four, four. Okay, one, four, four. So let's go right here. Okay, right here, so it says, Blah, 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 amendment, that's, that's what it is, okay? Uh, let's see if we can find form four, okay? Just to give you an, an idea of what we're talking about. So let's see, there we go. So it says it right here. So form number four, statement of changes in beneficial ownership of secure. That's what it means, okay? It tells you, you're like, what is it, right? Pretty much what that means is that, hey, if you if somebody on the inside buys or sells, you have to report it. That's the whole point. You know, the thing is, you know, the government knowingly makes it difficult so that, you know, people don't lose their homes, wives, they are, you know, uh, they, they don't want people to go bankrupt, okay? That's another reason why there is PDT rule. I don't like it, but that's the, that's the way it is, okay? So, uh, and so that's it. Let's go back. So you know the deal, right? Uh, Imagine if you had to read this, you're like, what is what is this guy talking about, right? Um, I read through it and I'm just, you know, giving it to you in a simple manner. So form four, statement of changes in beneficial ownership of securities. You know, you have it with these government, you know, they're using these fancy words, you know. Uh, let's go back right here. And let's go to search for company filing. So let's click on that, okay? and search by company name, mutual funds, and blah, 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 you got a bunch of stuff. Uh, usually we're gonna do company by fund name. Okay, let's click on it right here. Let's click on Apple, find Apple, okay? Now next up is, you got the documents is here, okay? Let me show you a way to find it, okay? What you do is you click right here, okay? Form four, search. Now, we got this, okay? You see how it got you that, all these things. Let's go right here. Search, okay? And you just have to look through it, uh, if we can find some. Looking for form number four. Okay, let's go right here, let's go back right here. I'm gonna go here. Um, Insider Equity Awards, let's click on that, let's click search. There we go, there we go. Form number four right here, okay? I told you, don't get scared, okay? So this is the guy. We can Google him if you want to. Sometimes you have to know, you know, uh, you have to know who you're tracking. You don't wanna track some random guy, uh, you know, um, who might need money for his marriage or, you know, maybe he's going through a divorce or things like that, okay? You don't want to track random people. Let's say, I'll give you an example, okay? So let's say uh, somebody has an insider status, right? And they go ahead and do the trading and they have to report it, right? And use that data to make a wrong decision, okay? Wrong move, okay? But right here, I, we Googled him, right? Bruce Swells, okay? Board of members in Apple. So this guy, of course, definitely, okay? You can trust him because you know that, okay, people, like I said earlier, people don't, you know, you know, people don't buy things to lose money. People buy things to make your, make those, themselves even richer, okay? So the, the guy checks out, okay? The guy checks out, cool, let's move on. I also like to sometimes see people's salary for some reason. It, it's, it's, I think it's somewhere here, right? Just to, just to see, okay? Hmm. 
So this guy made 310, 310K, blah, blah, blah. Was received. So you can see how much money he got through stocks and okay. So he got 207K as a stock. You see, this is, you need this information. Uh, so you can see, you can, you know, you, you can make your own decision based on you see this information. For example, right? So this guy got this much worth of stock, okay? So why, so you know this was awarded on, let's go back right here, form number 144. We talked about this, right? So if if you got this, right, at this, at this point, right, uh, we can check when he got it on the forms as well. Now, if he received it, keep in mind, okay, the SECC site says that, they cannot sell it for at least one year, but if they decide to sell it, they have to file the form number 144, okay? And then um, intent to sell, okay? And once they file this form, they have to sell it within 90 days, okay? So it helps to Google people's name, okay? Let's move on. Let's go back right here, okay? You can see, if you wanna go through it, you can, you can, it'll tell you how many shares, all that stuff right here. A lot of the information is stripped out sometimes, guys. Um, sometimes it's not gonna show it. Let's let's do open document, okay? See, it's stripped out. Sometimes they they. they uh... This is the problem with uh, SEC side because see, this is a form, right? He filed, but this is empty. See, this is the main problem I have with Edgar. Sometimes it's stripped out, sometimes it's not. Uh, see, the big problem is right here, okay? Let's see, we can just still look around, we can still look around. Let's go back right here. So if I'm just gonna try to see if I can find you one that actually has some information. Okay, there we go. So that's the problem with the SEC site is that sometimes it's stripped down. So let's see this guy, okay? Jung Andrea. Let's Google her up. Okay. She's not on the board. Blah, blah, blah. Let's type up. Let's let's go right here. Okay, I think she's an, she might be an um, employee because it doesn't say that. Let's go right here, okay? Oh, so she is, she is a board of director. Maybe she's not at this point, blah, blah, blah. You see it, right? So let's go back right here. We see that information right here. And on, on her case, right, the number of stocks, all these things, number of shares, you can see that right here, okay? Price. And there we go. You can see all this information. So let's go back right here. So right here, it tells you right here. So C is, you know, um, C, C's on the board, says director right here. If somebody was not on the board of members or management, right, um, then they would take this one. Uh, so you should see it right here. Um, common stock. So let's go through it, couple of things, right? So she bought it, she bought it. How do you know that? Because look on this line, right? If you go through it, it says A, okay? A equals for acquired, okay? So it tells you right here that the stock was acquired. So see, this is, this is the problem with the SEC side, okay? They make it difficult and it's like so much data here. Um, like I said, I was like, you know, I'm looking around because the, and the form is different sometimes. So for that's why sometimes usually the acquired or, you know, uh, disposed of is usually written on the top. Okay. And I was looking for it. Okay. But, um, SEC, you know, sometimes, you know, of course they can change the form number four, uh, and they did that. So it's right here now acquired, right? Uh, I tells you right here, Sue. So securities acquired a disposed uh, D it tells you right here. So C acquired it, meaning C got it. Okay. Okay, let's see. 
So she got that many shares. You can see all that as well. Um, we can see, let's see. And then we can also see, she got it here. She also sold it here as well. Um, let's see, it's a couple of information. Okay. So this is how you can, you know, get the information out. So just go through the Edgar site and just play with it, okay? Uh, and uh, if you need more information on how this their site actually works, just you just have to play through it. Uh, but the big thing is if you go through this thing right here, this tutorial will give you a lot of ideas. Um, this one, not so much. Um, it gives you, uh, let's see. The SIC code that you might need, like those codes that they, they were using on the forms, you can fill that out out as well. If you want to take a look at the form, you can go right here. So these are the forms that people fill out. Okay, the reason I like going through these is because it gives you instructions as well. Okay, so you know, like we saw the form, right? Let's see if we can find that form right here. So filled by, uh, let's see, form. Form number four, there we go. Click on it, okay. This one doesn't give you, see I told you this this form style changes every single time. Um, let's go back right here. It should also give us uh, instruct, oh there we go, instructions, okay, there we go. This is what I was talking about. So um, I think you should go through it um, this just gives you an idea on, you know, uh, for example, like what are people thinking, how, what, what they need to file, all of that information is on here. Um, you just need to read it once and you should be good. Um, not much information, but if you are gonna be, you know, tracking down an insider trading, you do need to go through it a uh, little bit. You tell it right here, so this is, the, this is so, <laughs> so acquired, and right here, A, D, dispose, uh, and you know, uh, exercise it. It tells you all of it right here, okay? So for example, if somebody got it as a gift, it will say G on it, benefit gift. Um, it's all here. So this is the instruction their lawyer or themselves are using when they file the document number four. You get the idea. So at this point, you should have a basic idea on where to look for the information and how to read that information, okay? So that should be, you should know that. So what I want you to do is next up is, you know, pause this video or, you know, stop it and then go to the Edgar site and look up documents on some of the most popular companies that you've heard of or maybe you are investing on a, on a company, right? Maybe go there and see what are they doing, okay? Look at their files. That might give you an insight on what actually might be happening with the company. Make sense? Cool, let's move on. Okay, so, so far you know how to use the Edgar database. Now, I wanna make it simple for you, but I did wanna show you how to do it on Edgar because all that information is coming from Edgar site, okay, the SEC site. There are some other sites where you can get that information, but here's the problem, okay? Sometimes that information is not indexed, meaning that information might not be on these automatic site which grab the information, okay? So for that reason, I strongly recommend you learn how to use the Edgar database, okay? Now, if you're feeling lazy, what you can also do is go to these four sites that are really, really helpful, okay? First one is called Finbiz, Finbiz Insider Trading. So if you go here, right, it'll tell you the ticker. This is the latest information they have, right? Um, ticker, the owner, the relationship. This, keep in mind, this is coming from that same form, right? It's just they have stripped that data and then put it here. But like I said, a lot of the times, like most of the time, information from that site is not transferred here. Most of the time, okay? So for that reason, I do want you to go and learn how to use the Edgar site, okay? Cool, let's move on. So you can see the ticker, owner, relationship, date, transaction, cost, shares. You can also go right here and see all the, like, all the transaction. You can see when somebody bought it. So this is like, okay, uh, let's see. You're trying to find out about the company. So here's what I do, I'll tell you. So I go through, uh, of course, the Edgar database, but I also like to see it here because a lot of these companies that I haven't heard of, right? But if I see, hey, 
this might be good, I go ahead and buy it. So here's what I do. So I look at the ticker, right? I also look at the amount. If, if somebody's selling like, I don't know, like 10 shares, 30 shares, I'm not interested, okay? Let's look at this. So 485, okay? So these are 10% owner, okay? And this company is called PDLI. I don't know about this company, let's look it up. Okay, let's look it up. The trading at $2.68, okay? Let's go ahead and Google them up. Google is your friend, okay? Huh, as you can see right here, okay? This is the after hours. After hours, it has actually gone up a little bit, sort of, let's see. Let's go to the news, okay? Let's go back right here, okay? Let's go back right here. Where was it, PLD? Okay, it's right here, okay? This was filed on December 23, okay? Okay, there's the form right here. This was filed on December 23. So what does that mean for you? So what that means for you is the fact that um, if you were just looking through the indexes, if you went here, I guess it's not here. Usually they put it in the archives, right? Let's see if it's right here. I'm trying to find the archives right here. So these companies are just pulling the data for all these tickers. But uh, if you had this information like a couple days back, right? Um, as you saw, a day before or so, look, it went up. These people did the insider trading on 20, they filed it here. Um, so once they get it, they got, I think, 10 days to file it. it got filed here. Um, they try to file it just to be on the safe side. What does that mean? It means that, um, let's say I'm an insider, right? I'm not. Uh, let's say I buy something, right? What they try to do is, you know, they don't want to just straight up file it right now because they got 10 days. They file a day before the whatever the news is coming out. Um, this for their safety purpose. They, they, they don't want to be charged with manipulation of the stocks and things like that. So that's why they did it right here. But if you have that information here, um, and then guess what? If you had that information here, that's why it's a day before, right? If you had that information, see, it went up, right? And it went up and then most likely it's going to go even higher a little bit. Um, you can do more things with, let's, 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 let's do it. Okay, let's go right here. Let's click on this right here. Let's look at the volume. Open, high is 75, previous close, okay? I do wanna see, uh, let's go right here, let's click on this. Volume is 2.76, okay? That's okay. volume of call option so let's see that okay let's go to bar chart most active i like this side it gives you a little faster information um i haven't looked up this company before so i'm doing it in front of you to see what's going on sure outstanding um this is probably gonna go up a little bit more, okay? Let's open up trading view and check a few things, okay? Of course, you know, you would need a little bit of more knowledge to do this, but I just wanna go and show you what I'm thinking, okay? So there we go. So probably once they people found out about the information, it got pumped up even more, right? And people started taking profits. Let's go right here, okay? The RSI is high. Uh, so when the market does open, I'm expecting it to go a little bit higher, a little bit higher. So it might actually gap up to be really honest because you look here, right? Um, that was the closing and you see how a little bit here, right? So what I'm expecting for this to happen is when the market does open, it's going to gap up. And if I were you, right, if I had bought it today on that first morning gap, I would sell it, make that money. Um, and then rebuy it on that dip again. So you know the deal every morning there is usually if there's good news and things like that It's gonna spike up and the spike usually is the worst time to buy. Okay, that's the best time to sell. Okay uh, Keep that in mind Let's click on news 
Okay. Okay, we can go to Seeking Alpha is a good site. Okay. Oh, 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 I see what's happening. I see what's happening. Not a bueno news. Let's go right here. Let's go look at this. Let's go back to... Uh, Let's go back to Finbiz. Let's see. Did I miss some information? See? They bought it, okay? Um, it's liquidating. It, it should be listed on NASDAQ, okay? Okay, so it is liquidating, so not a good buy. I'm sorry about that. So see, if you Google more information, you'll see, you'll get more information as well. So this was not a good buy. See, if I, had, I hadn't seen this, right? Um, so always Google to see what's up. Let's see why did they buy it? See, you wanna find out usually, right? Let's go back. Okay, people have uh, downgraded it, let's go back. Let's see what this company is. What are they trying to do? And you'll see the price they bought it at. They're buying so much. Let's see what this company is. It's that. I feel like what's happening is they're trying to get the money from the liquidation. Um, special situation investment. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So see, it helps to Google. So it tells you that, okay. So, uh, Company like, companies like these buy stock when it's something is wrong going on so that they can help the company out. So that was the reason, okay? So we figured it out. So I didn't know about the stock. I didn't know about the situation. We figured all of it out through Googling. So Googling helps, okay? You see, right? Initially, I thought it, they bought it. So I'm like, okay, it's going up if everything else was right. But I figured out that, hey, they were getting delisted, right? So I wanted to see who was the one buying it, right? And then when I Googled it, I found out that focuses on credit on special situation investment. So pretty much what they were, what it means is that this company is helping that other company liquidate. See how that information could be taken in a wrong way if you don't Google around. Cool. So you have, so you have, a, so you have a real live example of, you know, the, the thought process that goes into, into, into me. So you got it. Let's move on. Okay. So that was uh, this site. Okay. Oh, we can try one more, right? We can try one more. Let's go back right here. Buy, okay, let's go right here. CEO, okay, buys, okay, CEO. Hmm, of course, CEO buy. Whenever a CEO is buying, my thought process is, okay, are they a founder? If they're a founder, uh, sometimes you, know, you have a founder. Let's, let's look it up, okay? Um, SEO, CEOs buy to usually, you know, make it look good. Let's look it up. Sometimes you might want to do this, like, like this, okay? Dollar sign and then like this, okay? 17 bucks, okay? Let's go to news. Okay, so you see on here, right, again, okay? On the other one, what was happening was, let's go back, let's, let's, let's compare, okay? On the other one, you see that it spiked up, okay? Um, the chances are that whenever a stock is kind of like liquidating, sometimes data let traders play with it. Um, if I didn't know if the company was not getting delisted, uh, if I didn't hadn't researched who was buying those uh, shares, I would have to assume that hey, you know, um, you know, this company is fine. It's gonna go up a couple. I said a little bit, right? on the market cap. So what's gonna happen, usually on market cap on the morning, since we know it's gonna delist it, it's gonna gap down, meaning it's gonna lose value, okay? Let's go right here, it says ODT. Let's look at the news. Announces what? Let's look at the, and a couple of things, a couple of things, okay? Um, this is whenever you see something called Newswire, that's a PR company, press releases. Take press releases with a grain of salt because a company who wants to raise their stock value or somebody, right, they will release information to, you know, uh, press releases and they uh, and other companies pick it up. 
says Business Wire. Business Wire is a press release company owned by Hathaway. That's what it is, okay? See, you can submit. So if I owned some stock, right, if I wanted to release some news out there, I would submit it here, and these other media companies would just, you know, pick up the news and spread it. So pretty much think of it like this. So let's say I have a news. Hey, this company is about to make a new uh, car. I would go submit it. I'd write, I would write a little bit of article here, and then these other companies like Yahoo, CNN would grab it. They would do research, and they would talk about it if it's, if it's good enough, okay? Or sometimes, right, People see this information and they think, hey, you know, it's a news. So whenever you see wire or just make sure that the news you're getting is right. It's not from uh, press releases. Press releases are anybody can do. A, I can pay 60 bucks and do a press release saying, hey, this company is going to do this, this, this. Okay. I could do that. That's illegal. That's manipulating the stock, right? Uh, but if it's a real information, let's say uh, we know a company is coming out with a product or service, blah, blah, blah. Or let's say a company's uh, earning call is coming up. We're expecting it to go this, this, this. And that's actually happening. That's not illegal. But if I decide to do a press release saying, hey, this is, this is what's happening with this penny stock, blah, 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 and people buy it up, I will end up in jail. That is not legal. Please do not do it. But I want you to know that press releases are, you know, they're not real factual news, okay? Anybody can submit it, okay? Let's go back right here, okay? So we looked at that. Let's go look at that other company. What is that? D something company. We looked at it. Let's go back. ODT, okay, ODT. Couple of things, right? So net exchange so whenever you see some insider trading keep in mind usually you'll see of course we'll talk about the us but whenever you see insider trading on over the counter i would be suspicious okay not always right because on on otc over the counter market it's a penny stocks the penny stocks are like in you know, a penny or two and then you do have a chance to make a lot of money but how much how much do you trust that information okay so let me give you an example okay um We'll come back to it, okay, RLFTF. Okay, so RLFTF, this was a, this was a, you know, uh, this was a stock, still is, of course. This is this is trading on over-the-counter um, uh, exchange. Pretty much what that means is that, um, not always, but like this company, I haven't done a little bit, I haven't done the foundation uh, uh, research, but if a company cannot qualify for NASDAQ or NYSC, they go ahead and file it on over the counter, okay? The requirements are a little low. And then on uh, NYSC or NASDAQ, you have to keep filing information, reports, and you know, every quarter. On here, the requirement is not that top, okay? So let's write here, okay? So, so before this company, let's go back about this company. So this company, what happened was uh, at one point, and what was happening was I actually got in. So um, they were building some sort of medication to help people uh, feel better with coronavirus, okay? And the vaccine wasn't out yet, okay? So we found out that information and then they were releasing press releases on these sites, like I told you, right? And always what I tell people is that, okay, um, you know, uh, buy the news, sell the, <laughs> buy the rumor, sell the news, okay? Now you get the idea. Um, you come up here, and then I came up here, and then I bought about 20, 30,000 shares. I saw it, I bought it, and I sold it for like, I think 35 something that day, but it went up to like 75. I took my profits and I left in the morning spike, but you get the idea. So this one, the insider information came through press releases, okay? The company released it, and it, you know, push people to go up. A um, couple of things you're looking at is volume spike, okay, right here. So volume spike right here, a little bit, right? You see it right here too. It kind of, now the vaccine's out, this is not worth too much, okay? Uh, it does help with people who didn't get the vaccine, they're still suffering, still helps them, but, um, you know, uh, the stock is not gonna do that great, okay? Let's go back. Okay, this company, okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, there we go. CEO buys, he buys it. So let's see, okay, just because of the news, right? Look at the price. This is the aftermarket price. This one is definitely gonna gap up when it opens up um, uh, on, on Monday, okay? Let's see when he bought it. I hope you guys are enjoying this, like, you know, the thought process that goes in my mind while I'm doing the research. Um, it, I mean, it should, let's go back, okay? 
he did it on December 23, of course. Okay, of course, okay. Like I said, people, they file it on the last day that they're supposed to so that, you know, uh, so, so, the, so after that, it usually pumps up. So December 23, let's go back right here. I wanna see when it spiked up, okay? Right here, you see this, uh, let's go five days. December 22, December 23, we still see the stock was worth $15.44. If you had this information, okay, and FinBiz would have given it to you on December 23, it would have, you would have made money. Just make sure to research that the company is not getting delisted or it's not done doing something crazy. Like this company looks stable to me. 17 bucks, not like pennies or like dollars. So it looks good. Uh, market cap is look looks good as well. Let's look at the volume. How well is the volume, right? Well, tell me the volume right here. Okay, right here. 4412K. Not bad, not bad for a company like this. Okay. One more thing that you can do is go to stock widths. Okay. Stock widths is pretty much okay. Here's how I use it. Okay. Um Again, take everything with a grain of salt because everybody has an agenda on what, what they're telling you. Somebody says, buy, buy, buy. They probably already own it, okay? They wanna make the prices go higher. Somebody says, sell, 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 right? Idea is maybe they own a put call, okay? <laughs> you know, maybe they own a put contract on options. You never know. But it does help to get the uh, sentiment, okay, up the, up the public because keep in mind, it's always better to ride the wave, right? And exit, okay? Because you wanna exit the ride before everybody else exits and you are like, you know, you're struggling to, you know, you have to cut losses. What I like to do is once I get on these insider trading, you know, these, these kind of rides, I like to just make my profit. I'm not trying to hit a home run. If you try to hit a home run, trust me, okay? A couple of times you might get fucking lucky okay but what's gonna happen is if you try to hit the home run every single time boom 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 right one of those days your account is gonna blow up okay and i don't know why i don't know why people who trade online here they think blowing up an account is passes of you know becoming a better trader that's fucked up that's messed up that doesn't make sense don't blow up your trading account okay make consistent gains, okay? You're not trying to hit a home run. run. That's If you try to hit a home run, you will hit some, okay? And you, at, at one point, you will hit a home run. People are lucky, okay? But, you know, if you keep doing it, if you try to run, you know, hit, hit a home run every single time, one of these days, things are gonna get messed up. Trust me, okay? Trust me, it has happened to me, it has happened to people I know, okay? So consistent gain, okay? So for example, let's say you buy in, right? Ride the wave, okay? Wait till the RSI. This this course is not gonna talk about indicators, but RSI, let's look at it, let's look at it. I think it will help you. So RSI measures the strength of the market at that given time, right? Let's say, okay. Okay, so you bought it, let's say you bought it right here, okay? Let's pretend you bought it right here on December 23. Now watch, okay? Look at this RSI value, it's it's right here, right? Overbought, it's way high. So when it goes right here, you might wanna sell. I would have sold it right here. I would have bought it right here. The price was, let's see what the price was. Price was 15.47. I would have sold it middle way right here. Right here, okay, right here. Why this? Okay, I look at two things, okay? Uh, okay, of course, this is not an indicator course, but I do, do, do wanna give you some insights on how I'm playing these games, right? Uh, yeah, it's a game, it's a game. Nobody knows what's happening on the stock market. The only thing that you can do is that, you know, uh, you know that most of the people playing on stock market are stupid, okay? And that's not to say, you know, stupid people are bad people. We need stupid people on the market. If they were, if everybody was going on one direction, the stock market would, would crash, okay? That's how stock market works. So somebody needs to be buying, selling for different reasons, fear and greed, okay? So right here, what I do, like I said, I don't want home runs, okay? I want consistent profits, okay? So I go right here. Let's say I bought it right here, okay? The RSI is pretty good, okay? I wait till the RSI is like overbought right here. Right here, you see, right? This is where the sentiment is picking up, okay? Right here, right here, or you, you might climb right here. See what see what happened, right? Right here, you see that big green 
big red, red um, um, kind of like in a volume right here. You see it right here. See, that's when people are exited. Okay, people who knew what they were doing, they exited. Boom. If I were you, I would have exited right here. Okay, right here. Okay, let's see what the price was. I would have made about hmm, pretty good money, right? This was the gap. This was the gap. So usually if I own the stock, if there's a big gap in the morning, I exit. Morning gaps are the best gaps, um, best, you know, price spike, spike price to sell it at. After that, it's down the hill, right? But, okay, can you still play it? Okay, let's go back right here. Let's say you didn't know about it, right? You found out, okay? Let's see, the price is 16. Okay, what you can do is when the market opens up, okay, on Monday, so the chances are that it's gonna spike up, okay? It's gonna spike up because the momentum is good, okay? The momentum is good. It's gonna spike up to like, I don't know, 18 something, right? That's gonna drop, boom, up. So you're gonna see the RSI go up, okay? Don't buy then, don't buy it in the morning. That's what I tell people, okay? Um, those people are buying on Robinhood and they're like, you know, buying at the wrong time, right? And you're like, you're losing money. This is why you're losing money. So it goes up, okay, spikes up. And then um, don't buy, wait. Wait till for it to drop rock bottom like this. You see the RSI is like 29, that's when you buy. And then you wait, you ride the wave and it goes right here, it hits the um, 70 right here RSI, exit. Exit. So that's how you can also day trade or, or swing trade uh, instead of trades. Okay. So you get the idea what I'm thinking about. So I think I gave it to you. I gave you extra more more information than. Uh, see, I'm super excited when I teach this to you guys because I had no plans to teach you guys the actual trade, but I did it because it's exciting. Okay, and I want you guys to make money. So <laughs> we just talked about uh, uh, Finviz. Okay, so. There's other sites that do this as well. The second one is called insidertrading.org. Third one is J3SG. The one I really like, it's called Guru Focus. This one gives you uh, real time. Well, not real, real time, right? It's, it gets on the SEC's Edgar site and then they grab it out and then they throw it out here. Make sense? So there you go, perfect. So that was it, you learned how, you learned everything that you needed to know about insider trading so you are probably gonna be that that you know that smart guy in that room when somebody talks about insider trading now you know everything I've taught you what is insider trading is it legal or not I've taught you about Edward database I've shown you step by step on how to buy these and how to sell these on this video I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you have any questions go ahead and comment on the below right there so I can actually respond back to you as well. And of course, last but not least, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to this video so I can bring more videos like this to you next time. Thank you so much for watching.